Tonight is Survivor Series. And I'm not, even though I am still a little puzzled by the fact that the baby faces will have the advantage in their Survivor Series match. Uh, I can't say that, I can't say that because there's two of them. In the men's Survivor Series match, the Brawling Brutes will have the advantage over the bloodline. But I think that the main thing is, the numbers game is not the story to be told in that match. It's Sammy and Kevin, and somebody finally getting, poking holes in the foundation of the bloodline. After nearly two years of dominance on SmackDown, someone could be poking holes in the, do in the domination that has been the bloodline. You know, but I think the bloodline is like, are like the horsemen, where you don't take them apart from inside. They take you out before you can take care of them. You know, and that's a fact. But we're gonna, we're gonna get there. The right way to start is, we work our way back, we work our way from the front. I mean, the right way, there is no right way to start, to be fair. There is no right way to start, but what I do know is that Ronda Rousey is fighting Shanti for the SmackDown Women's title on the Sur at Survivor Series. Shanti has seen some momentum go her way in recent weeks, but I think that the momentum is not is not going to be is not going to be enough to dethrone the domination of Ronda Rousey or the dominant Ronda Rousey especially with the possibility of Shayna Baszler being in the corner of her former adversary or being on the side at least of her former adversary that we're going to see that there's more of a story to tell with Shayna and Ronda you know there's more of a story to tell with Shayna and Ronda so I think Shaunsi though we'll have a credible back and forth with Ronda will not be the one who dethrones Ronda Rousey tonight at the Survivor Series. Also tonight, we get the penultimate match, in my opinion, between Finn Balor and AJ Styles. The one match that we have not seen since the two men fought a few years ago, I think, at tw I think it was 2017, at TLC. And this should be a very, very good match, partially because it has been said that Triple H wants to rehab and rebuild Finn Balor. So this should be a really good match between Finn and AJ Styles. But my question is, when does this feud end between the Judgment Day and the OC? And if it does end, how is it going to end? Because where do these six people, where do these six men go after the feud? We know where Dominic's going, but what about his stablemates in the Judgment Day, and what about AJ Styles? As far as that's concerned, honestly, honestly, I'm thinking that maybe, maybe AJ Styles wins tonight. Because AJ's been seeing a lot of back and forth, and I think that the even though the Judgment Day did recently lose to uh, the Brawling Brutes as a part of the build to survive, you know, the War Games match, and to help the Brawling Brutes build a little bit more momentum, that I think that the Judgment Day has enough momentum that they could take the big loss tonight, especially if it's a little bit uh, not super conclusive if that makes sense. Especially if it's a little less conclusive and a little more draw your own conclusion that the show that the feud is over. Cuz all you need is Finn and Damian Priest to have some sort of an altercation with somebody backstage outside of the feud with AJ Styles and then that, and then things can change at the drop of a hat. Or you also have AJ win one and then Finn win another. And you don't end it with just one. You end it with the way it started where it finally got even with a six-man tag. One way or the other, 
I think that this feud should end sooner rather than later, but that's just me. Also tonight, the United States title is on the line with the United States champion Seth Rollins in a triple threat match against Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory. Austin Theory has been showing a new side of himself, a more aggressive side in recent weeks since he lost the, uh, uh, since he cashed in and lost the money in the bank. That he's been showing a new aggressive side to himself, which means that Austin Theory has the momentum and is more than capable of beating Seth Rollins and winning tonight. But I also think that it's also pretty likely that we could see, well, honestly, we could see any of the guys win the match tonight. We could see any of these guys win the match tonight, but I think that if I had to put the odds on one of them, I'd put the odds on Theory. As far as the, as far as the women's money, in the, I mean, as far as the women's war games match, we know we now know that Becky Lynch is in fact the final member of Team Bianca tonight against Damage Control. So it is Bailey, Dakota Kai, Rhea Ripley, Nikki Cross, and Io Sky against Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Asuka, Alexa Bliss, and Mia Yim. In the in the first in what will likely be the first ever WWE War, War Games match on the main roster, and in my opinion, I think that it's time for the heels to get the win. Because also, I'm going to make this bold prediction that if the heels win the women's match, then the bloodline loses. But I think either way, the bloodline has to lose tonight because it's time. But. As far as the feud between Bianca and uh, Bailey has been since Bailey returned at SummerSlam, it's been one-sided. Yes, it's been you know uh, a tipping you know a tipping scale, and one side hasn't tipped to the other side where one side has the advantage. But the fact of the matter is, they need to allow the heels to get something, because otherwise Bianca's going to run out of challengers. Unless one of Bianca's challengers is going to be one of her teammates tonight. Bianca is going to run out of challengers. So you need some momentum on the heel side. So I think it is, it is more than likely the heels get the victory tonight in war games. I'm not going to guess who takes the fall, but I will say either Bailey or Rhea Ripley get the win in the War Games match tonight for the heels or Team Damage Control. As far as the main event is concerned, as I said in a previous news video, the big picture for, and I think I said it earlier in this video, the big picture for the main event, Bloodline versus the Brawling Brutes, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, and Kevin Owens, the big picture is Kevin versus Sammy. Will Sammy, you know, attack Kevin Owens? Will Sammy and Kevin get physical with each other? Or will Sammy's hesitation end up costing the bloodline and putting even more shreds of doubt in the head of the bloodline? Because you know Sammy and Solo are friends or have developed a friendship since Solo's debut at Clash at the Castle, but Jey Uso does not trust Sammy Zayn. Jey Uso does not trust Sammy Zayn and... I, for one, am happy to see Butch, Ridge Holland, and Sheamus, and Kevin Owens in, main, in a main event premium, at a premium live event. Drew McIntyre just wrestled in a main event match at a premium live event back at the Clash at the Castle. But it's good to see fresh faces in the main event for the first time in a long time. It shows how, you know, it shows how bridging this story has been to include and infuse where everyone belongs in that match. Everyone belongs in that match. Everyone has a reason why they're there, and some people even have unfinished business. Sheamus has unfinished business with the bloodline, 
And you know Drew McIntyre has unfinished business with Solo Sokoa. But the fact of the matter is, this match is a little different than the women's match because this match, I will not only pick who gets the W, but I will also pick who's going to take the fall. It's either going to be Jay or it's either going to be Jay or Sammy. I think it is a higher percentage chance that Sammy takes the fall. But imagine the intrigue going into SmackDown if Jay Uso takes the fall because of Sami Zayn. Imagine the tension. Imagine what happens on SmackDown. Not only if the Bloodline loses, but if Jay's the one who who takes the fall. Sammy, the, the intrigue is there for Sammy too to take the fall. But I think to say that Jay Uso would not be an intriguing person to take the fall, especially with the momentum Jay was getting a couple weeks ago, or the reaction Jay was getting a couple weeks ago, that that would be ignoring the possibility of Jay being the one who branches off and not just the idea that Sammy's going to branch off too. As far as who gets the win, I think Kevin or Sheamus. I think Kevin or Sheamus, because if Kevin gets the win, think about this. If Kevin gets the win, could Sammy end up costing Roman Reigns something? Could Sammy end up costing Roman Reigns something? And imagine Kevin Owens being the one that finally dethroned Roman Reigns. I don't see it happening, but just imagine that reaction but I also think that if you want to go a different route and you want to give it to Sheamus, so you give Roman a capable challenger and somebody that it can have a good match with, then Sheamus is the right way to go. But either way, I think the Brawling Brutes, Drew, Sheamus, and Kevin Owens will stick the bloodline with pretty much one of their first losses in recent memory. And it's going to be a, a very intriguing addition to SmackDown if my prediction is right that the bloodline come up short tonight in War Games. But either way, my thoughts on tonight's episode, uh, just a recap, Ronda Rousey retains, Theory walks away with the United States title, AJ Styles beats Finn Balor, Team Damage Control wins the Women's War Games match, and the Bloodline come up short, meaning the Brawling Brutes win the other War Games match. So it's the Brawling Brutes, Damage Control, Theory, AJ Styles, and Ronda Rousey are my predictions for tonight's edition of, of Survivor Series. Let me know your thoughts on the comments in, down in the comment section below. And if you like this type of content, feel free, to, feel free to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel to let me know that. Because any and all interactions with the video do help us get noticed with the algorithm and are very much appreciated. But with that being said, do not forget before you go to ding dang the notification bell next to the subscription box to always know when a new video is up on the channel. And until next time, I will see you again soon.